beautiful people. We are on the road. It's 8 o'clock in the morning on this gorgeous Wednesday morning. I hope you guys are all doing great. Um, I've been up for a couple hours already. I left Tom cozy at the cave. He's going to work this morning. And I am on my way to uh, Rite Aid to send a Western Union some cash down south to the kitties. Um, and then after that, we'll head back to the nest. I have a couple things to show you guys. I'm sure I have things to talk about. And at around 12 o'clock, we're going to go visit uh, Sylvia, my friend Sylvia, Steve's mom, and play some Scrabble, which we have not done in a long, long time. So that's my big exciting day today. I hope you guys are doing well. I also have some footage from the Woodstock Farm Sanctuary. Uh, I told you Tom, Nick, and I went on Saturday, I believe. I think it was Saturday. It might have been Sunday. Anyway, um, and we had a great time. We'll be back. We joined, you know, I think it would, it would have cost us like $30 to get in, and it was $40 for a year membership. So, hello, we took a year membership. It's amazing over there. Beautiful, beautiful, clean, big, wonderful staff, all volunteer. The animals were so fun. Um, we didn't take a tour this time. They have tours like on the hour. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I've been dealing with a, a slight head cold uh, for the last couple weeks. So I'll be <clears throat> today. But anyway. Uh, so I have some footage from that. And I will tack that onto today's vlog. And I also have... Sorry, hang on a second. Driving. <laughs> I also have the uh, my giveaway footage. You guys had asked to see the uh, what I had sent Tammy for my 5,000 subscriber giveaway, and she has uh, received that. And she actually told me she filmed an opening, but the video was too long. So she knows that I'm going to show, and it's no big deal. It's like a couple minutes long. I'm just kind of showing you what I gave her. So, I'm not sure if I'll be able to tack that footage on to this vlog because I've already, see, I'm, I'm learning that new editor and it's going along, it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, boy, baby steps, anyway. But my, I'm a yin-yang and I had already made it like, when you're done creating the video, you have to export it, right? For those of you who know. So I like made it a YouTube friendly file and I don't think I can now go back into my editor and add that clip. If I had saved the original clip that I did on the editor, um, but I, of course I deleted it. So anyway, I'm learning. So if I can't attach that to this vlog, I will just put up a separate like five minute, this is what I gave in my giveaway. Gave in my giveaway. Yeah, so I'm going to stop yapping and show you guys some scenery, and I will catch up with you on the way back here, okay? So let me flip the camera around. It's like rush hour right now. Everybody's going to work. See you in a second.
front row parking every time. Okay, mission accomplished. It, it must be my uh, aura or something, but the Western Union computers went down when I was on the phone with the lady. And then when I went to pay for the transaction, her computer went down. So I don't know what's going on, but we got it taken care of. And it's only quarter to nine. So we're gonna, like I said, let's go home and do my morning, uh, at least coffee routine. I'm gonna go here. Sorry. And still no birdies. I'm not feeding anybody till all those bears are hibernating. And speaking of bears, okay, this is funny and I'm almost embarrassed to tell you guys this, but it's too funny not to tell you this, right? So I did have a bear visit. We have confirmed that. And whoa, big pothole. Um so I was, Tom had come over the day, I showed you the fur that I found, you know, and he brought something over and I was like, baby, look, I even have a little piece of black fur here, you know? So he looks at it for a second and then he goes outside on my front porch and looks down at my rug. And you guys, what I thought was bear fur was a piece of the rug. So now it's kind of a standing joke, you know, mm, smells like bear. I was dying of laughter. We both were cracking up and I don't think I will ever live this down. And if you guys want to tease me about it, feel free, go right ahead. But it really did look like bear fur and it smelled like bear fur. Like I know what bear fur smells like, right? So that's my true confession for the day. Hilarious, but... I haven't had any more activity there. Things have settled down. Oh, and I found my watering can. The bear did not steal my watering can. I had moved it, and because I'm freaking an old lady anymore, I can't remember anything. So that's the saga. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Bears, oh my goodness. Yeah, and what else? I'm trying to think what I did this week. I might as well tell you now while we're, while we're driving, right? It's getting hot in here. Um, on Thursday, I think Tom and I decided to go out for a, like spend the day, go someplace different for lunch, go driving around. So we went over to Bethel, my old stomping grounds over, you know, White Lake and everything was closed as per usual. Seems to be our luck. We're on a streak where we decide to go somewhere different. Don't check beforehand and they're closed. So every place we stopped was closed. And I told you we get a majority of our population is, you know, summer visitors. And when they go after Labor Day, a lot of the towns, small towns around here basically close up shop. It's not as bad as it, you know, it's anyway, we couldn't find a place to eat. And we even wound up at one restaurant that we would never go to. And we pulled in. We're like, all right, we'll eat here. And they were filming a movie there. And it's like, what are the odds of this? So, um. I think we wound up at the diner that day and it, it was great anyway but and then this weekend like I said we went to the it was my grandson Carter's birthday and you know what I got to Skype with him while he opened his presents and um, I'm still trying which way should I go I'm in a roundabout here circle um, I still haven't tied my son down yet to for a dinner date but He's hard to catch up with sometimes, you know? Once those kids grow up, they get their own lives and go. But I have talked to him, and he had a happy birthday. And what else? Oh, I had some a sad occasion, a passing of a dear old friend. Um, one of the beautiful souls that I used to work for 
Um, for those of you who know, I am, I'm an RN. I'm still an RN, but my last job, I worked with um, adults with uh, mental retardation and developmental disabilities. And I worked at a particular place. Shout out to New Hope. That's where I worked uh, for 13 years. And I had the honor and pleasure of working for some amazing ladies and gentlemen whom I still see out and about uh, often, which just is so good for my soul. But um, so we said goodbye to one of those amazing ladies. And um, I did go to uh, the funeral home with Tom and pay our respects. And, you know, it's sad and I just, uh, again, I'm honored that I uh, knew her and had the honor of knowing and I got to see uh, some people that I haven't gone back, you know, and I've been gone, I think it's five years now. I'm pretty sure I left in 2012, but I got to see some people that I haven't seen and um, yeah, you know, bittersweet. Weddings and funerals, right, bring people together often. We need to make more occasions where people just gather for happy occasions. But, um, yeah, so rest in peace, sweet hope. I love you. And that's how we started our week. But, like I said today, oh, I got to see Ellen last week, too. I went to see Ellen and Antoine. They're doing wonderfully. And I still got to see Patty. And I think my sister of the moon, Donathan, is coming tomorrow. So I am well-loved and feeling the love and sending love out to you guys. Hope you're feeling it, too. Crazy, crazy world, you know. That's all I can think to do is to send out peace and love and not watch the news. Um, yeah, so I'm sending love out to all you guys anyway. That's my point. So I'm going to stop talking. I think that's all I have to say. I have a couple things to show you at home. I'll show you the t-shirt that I got at the uh, farm sanctuary. Tom got a cool one too. And he also bought a mug. But we're going to be going back and we're going to take a tour. And I'll take you guys with us. So I just told you I was going to be quiet. But I'm really going to be quiet now. And I'll see you back at the nest. Okay? Smells like bear. There's the rug. Look at this morning glory, you guys. Isn't she a beauty? Okay, guys, I'm back in the house. I'm going to make some coffee. Um, I just talked to the lawn guy. He's doing some lawn maintenance. I was like, don't trim my rhododendron bushes. He laughed. Remember last year when I almost cried? Um, it's pretty dark in here because it's only nine o'clock in the morning. It's nine o'clock in the morning and we're starting our day all over again. So that's good though. I'm going to have some coffee and I get to, I'll do some uh, quick editing while I have some time this morning. I'm not cooking today because I made a huge ginormous pot of uh, chili last night, which I think will bring some to Syl. Even if we don't have it for lunch today, she can have it for during the week or something. Vegan chili, of course. And I used um, Gardein crumbles in it as well as some of the Gardein meatballs that I cut up. And I also added some TVP, textured vegetable protein, which is what Taco Bell uses in their tacos. So it's a real meatless, meaty chili 
Um, and I also used black beans and kidney beans and homegrown tomatoes that were gifted to me. And, you know, you know the drill, peppers and onions and garlic, garlic, garlic. So uh, my point being is that I'm not cooking today. And let's get some coffee. This is still going. I'm currently burning, uh, burning, diffusing some eucalyptus oil. And I did get some fresh eucalyptus this week. Um, do you guys like the smell of eucalyptus? I think I've asked you this before, but I, I don't know how well you can see it. There you go. This right here. I have some here, and I also have some by the front door um, because it just smells so amazing. And I haven't done any fall decorating. I'm not really a decorator kind of girl. My house is always pretty... Uh, much the way I want it all the time and now that the kids are grown and everything I'm, I'm not I don't make a big deal um, but I do have some things so I was thinking of pulling out and just seeing what I'm working with but that's not gonna happen today I don't think like my dark tour of the house let me get some coffee and stop running my mouth and then do some editing Just thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing. This is the new editor I'm working with. It's called OpenShot. And I have a Linux uh, operating system on my computer. So I just pulled the clips that I've filmed already today over here. And I'm literally just going to drag them down to this line here. And you can add audio. I'm still figuring out all the bells and whistles, and I am, you know, again, a very simple newbie novice at this stuff. Um, so hopefully you will continue to see my videos improving, but we'll see. And YouTube closing their editor forced my hand at learning this, and this was something I've had on a goal list for a couple of years now. So. All in all, even though it's been a rocky transition, um, it's just my resistance, not the, you know, it's a, this is a very user-friendly editor. So for my fellow content creators, what video editors do you use? Um, what systems are you working with? Let me know. And have the YouTube uh, changes affected you guys at all? I don't know. I'm interested. Okay, everything seems to be uploading all right, and I figured I'll just show you what I have, which is not much at all. And then we'll pack up a mason jar with some chili, and I'll show you that too. And maybe I'll stop off at the Dollar General, which Tom and I did get to uh, for the first time. They're all the same, you know, uh, for a bag of tortilla chips to go along with that. I don't know. I should probably call Syl and see if she wants lunch, but I'm bringing it anyway. Um, speaking of eucalyptus, this is just, I have some purple and they had green and, oh, uh, you guys, this reminds me of my very first sister of the moon, Holly, shout out to Halls. Her house always smelt like fresh eucalyptus. It probably still does. Hall, do you still use eucalyptus? Yummy. Um, what else? I finished the um, Dyson Deal Challenge for October. I got that done a little early this time instead of waiting till the night before, which is never a good idea. And that'll be up on midnight on the 30th for viewing on the 1st. And if you haven't checked out my Dyson Deal group on Facebook, all the links will be below. Um, each month I do um, um, I have a deck of mixed media prompt cards. Mine are from Kayla Givehand, and each month I do a prompt challenge. So I finished one. I'll give you a sneak peek. Ready? Real quick. Dun, 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 dun. That's October's Dyson Deal Challenge, and I had a lot of fun with it. So what else? I was playing with watercolors and watercolor paper and just um, making some backgrounds, random backgrounds, and also with my inks and I am going to further elaborate on these um, obviously this is like blown through a straw 
but I want to go in with you know um, some markers and do some drawings on top of these or just cut them up for postcards or you never know I don't make ATCs and things like that um, normally I have in the past I tend to not do things that will just sit around I'm learning this about myself um, that the art that I create is either practical or no that's not right either I don't I do a lot of things that'll just wind up in a pile somewhere um, I know a lot of people swap them and give them away and that's wonderful um, it's just not something I'm drawn to and there are many many amazing mixed media artists who do all that stuff on a regular basis I told you I get bored so easily but one area in my um, arting that I'm learning and I've only been doing art for a couple years you guys is watercolor and I don't know why I'm so afraid of it I don't know a lot about it but it is fun to just get in and play and like I said I was playing with my inks as well and I have a huge permanent ink splotch on my um, sun face tablecloth on my table and even the box that they come in have little stands for you to put the bottle in so they don't spill and I normally would do that but sure enough a bottle of blue all over the table so just adds to the tie-dye effect right yeah be careful when you're working with inks um, I'm just glad I didn't have it here on the couch or you know which is where I do some filming and I will be working on a mixed media collage uh, in the next week I've been <clears throat> feeling it strongly I went through my um, supplies this weekend uh, to see and my junk drawer box is full and I have lots of embellishments and I have the perfect frame so when I do that I will film it for you guys no specific theme as of yet uh, but we'll see but I was talking with someone in um, the Gypsy and the Witch group I think it was Haley shout out to Haley uh, who said that she was gonna be doing one too and I was like we're all on the same mind wave cuz that's what I was thinking too okay you guys I didn't do any shopping on Amazon this week um, or if I did it hasn't come yet I did get some gum I'm still chewing gum it's the last of my vices you guys uh, remember I was weaning myself well I stopped doing that I need to address it again and just stop it but anyway um, I did get some gum but I think that's it let me show you what I got at the Woodstock Farm Sanctuary here is a map of uh, where we were and what we did and we covered all of this and special thanks to my heart son Nicholas who pushed my wheelchair all through this and we had a lot of fun um, like I said we'll definitely be back for some reason I did not get their actual like glossy brochure that I saw in the visitor center um, but I do show it in the um, in the video which I will put the clip in after this how about that um, this is a window cling can you see that can you see through that it says Woodstock Farm Sanctuary on it and again I'm such a sometimes you guys you know I'm peace and love right peace and love well Tom was like it's a chicken foot I didn't realize that until I looked at it that yes in fact it's the imprint of a chicken foot uh, this is a window cling for the car and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be putting it on my car this will be the first uh, sticker on this car I used to my car previous I have an Eclipse right now and I've had it for 10 years already but my car prior to that was a Toyota Camry which I love that car you couldn't kill it but that I had all kinds of bumper stickers all over the back and um, I haven't put any on this car so this would be the first Tom got one of these too but if I don't put it on the car I'll put it on my guitar case or something um, and oh because we were joined got a pen which for some reason makes me really happy Tom got a t-shirt he got the one that has this logo on it which I was gonna get but I figured get something different and all the money goes 100% of the money goes to the support and care of the animals 
and again I can't say enough about how clean and well kept everything was there um, no smells I mean even the pig barn and everything like places where you would normally expect to smell animal smells nothing beautiful so um, V is for veganism and there's some websites and even if you're not vegan you guys I know there's a lot of animal lovers out there um, my sister Patty um, Sunshine is going to be doing a show to benefit um, you know I, I think it's Pets Alive or something I'm not sure it is a, a animal benefit coming up too and there's a lot a lot of animal lovers out there this is my t-shirt vegan and I do know uh, American Sign Language the alphabet um, and I do know a couple curses but this is obviously American Sign Language spells out the word vegan and on the back which I really love <clears throat> is their logo as well so this is my first vegan t-shirt you know that says vegan on it and I am I've been waiting to show you guys to wear it so I'm looking forward to that and like I said when we go back I'll probably get another one and Tom also got a um, a mug with their logo on it and it's made out of corn I don't know how they do that it's magical uh, but it's hard you know it looks like plastic but it's actually made out of corn and um, I show footage of the visitor center and some of the souvenirs and things so but that's all we got there and I think I'm going to stop talking right now and I will insert the footage of the tour um, I, it's kind of a loose vlog I really spent more time um, focusing on being there with Tom and Nick and experiencing everything rather than whipping out the camera every second and saying you know let's get this let's get this but tell me what you think and if you live locally I encourage you guys to check them out you can definitely find them on Facebook and um, online so um, huge shout out to Woodstock Farm Sanctuary is that all I wanted to say oh <clears throat> there is footage of me in the video talking to a cow like you're my kindred spirit and it's only really quick but that cow was a three-legged cow and wore a uh, prosthetic so uh, that was kind of cool and they were all cool it was just beautiful so next time we will take a tour and get up close more up close with the animals but I was able to feed a cow and um, did I tell you how much I like it so let me insert that footage now and then we're gonna get I'm gonna get the chili ready to get on the road I'll call Syl and ask her if she wants to have that for lunch and we'll carry on with our day okay see you in a minute see you in a minute Okay, we're just pulling onto the grounds here. It's beautiful, and we just became a member, and you should too. We're getting the wheelchair tour here. It's so beautiful here, you guys. First stop, turkeys. <laughs> Dad, you always have like some form of Benadryl on you, right? Look at you guys. Well, good morning.
Yeah, but they don't care. They just want to pollinate. That's all. They're looking for Hi. clover and all that stuff. That's all. And here's some chickens and a rooster. And they have these little overhangs here to keep them protected from predators. And we just kind of caught the tail end of a tour that had started, but we're going to go and kind of explore on our own. We just became members here, so we will be back. Look at all the love. Nice and cool. Oh, look, it's one of those guys. And look at the random woodchuck eating at the chicken coop over there. He's enjoying their grain and water. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, we had, um... The future's so bright here, she's got to wear shades. <laughs> And everybody's got a big ball to play with. This is great. Moo. You can tap on any part of the screen to make it focus in the future. Yeah, I can barely even see what I'm doing. Yes. Hi. You're my cow. I knew it. You knew it. We're kindred spirits. We're kindred spirits. We're kindred spirits. Now. When we left it was 79, it's probably hotter yeah, than that no, now. I think we're at the pig shed. Let's go find some piggies. Look who we found snoozing in the water here. Oink, oink, oink. I'm in love with these animals, you guys. Haven't seen any piglets, but that's okay. There's a big piglet right there. Here I'm snorting. <laughs> <laughs> Come say hi. Doesn't take much. Boy, what do you do on a hot summer day? Take a bath in the pond. I don't know, a roll in the pigsty, something. You're videoing, it says. <laughs> Hi. These are some guinea hens, I believe, you guys. Well, hello. Hi. Here, slow down. Maybe they'll come to us. Hi, everybody. Now they're sending out the warning message to yeah. everyone. Yeah, they're like, wheelchair okay. coming. Why did the guinea hen cross the road? To get to the other side. They got friends. Here they oh. go. Okay. Yeah, they must know. Like when and here are before. some sheep. Like, why is it taking pictures? Oh yeah, I'm in the wrong mode. Hey, Bob Black Sheep, have you any wool? All the way back by the fence there, laying down, is one lone goat that we've seen. No, it was like, you know, the whole vaccine. And this guy's peeking out through the doorway there. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful place. Beautiful animals, beautiful people.
Okay, I just got off the phone with Syl, and I'm going to go over there at 1 o'clock, so I'm going to have some lunch before I go, but I am going to bring her some of that chili, and that's what I'm going to have for lunch, too. So I'll show you what I'm going to heat up. This is from last night, and you know, it's always better the second day. Look at that. Oh, the first thing I see on top is a big chunk of garlic. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's just so hard being vegan. So hard being me. Yeah, this stuff is amazing, you guys. And I've made chili on my channel before. Um, I don't know what video. I should start linking them. Rainbows. Rainbows everywhere. So I put some in a jar to bring to Syl. And yeah, all those crystals are throwing rainbows around my house. Um, they start getting more and more, but I'll show you. Oh, there's some up on the cabinet. Rainbows everywhere. Um, you guys are my sunshine and my rainbows. So I'm going to heat up some chili. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll probably have this with some tortilla chips and I have some fresh cilantro too. So I don't have any vegan. Oh, I do have like vegan Parmesan cheese, but I'm not going to put any kind of cheese or vegan sour cream or anything. Just naked chili, maybe some green onions after. I always do that. I say what I'm going to do, and then I change my mind immediately. Maybe some green onions and cilantro on top. Good idea, Callie. Okay, let me heat up a little bowl of this, and I'll see you when I see you. And here you have it. I like a lot of cilantro and the onions. It smells amazing and trust me, it's delicious. I'm gonna have it just with some tortilla chips. Last night I made rice and a salad. Um, these are really good. Got these from Aldi. Tom brought these over last night. Simply Nature, organic. Yum, and I'm drinking a whatever Aldi had. Bellevue lemon sparkling water. Okay, so I'm going to eat this, and while I do that, I'm going to try to upload the giveaway footage right now. So if you see the footage, I was successful. Uh, if you don't, it'll come after this video, okay? So I'll see you after lunch. Hey guys, it's me, Callie. I just laid out everything that I'm packing up for my 5,000 subby giveaway and I thought I would share it with you guys because you asked about this. I'm not going to be sharing this video until after my winner Tammy Clark receives the box but there was some interest so I thought I would share with you before I box it up. So it's going to be a little awkward because I'm kneeling on the bed here but I'm not going to go through every single item individually but I'm just going to explain. I have some stencils there, some rubber stamps, some clay tools, a clay extruder, some polymer clay, a bunch of rubber stamps, a rubber stamp set including an ink pad, a tie-dye kit, a journal, some ribbon, some patches and buttons, um, two different night lights. A big mushroom and little mushrooms, a stained glass window piece, 
I'll try to get closer. Sorry, guys. Um, some more household decor. A wax melt burner with a wax melt. An owl. Some quartz crystals. A small incense burner. A candle. A butterfly tea light holder. Some Palo Santo wood. An assortment of my favorite incense. Um, this really cool candle. A candle holder that I made. One of my boho holders. Um, one of the bubble wands that I made. I did an assortment of things that I bought, things that I've received, things from the auction. Um, a sage wand. Some different teas. This crescent moon I got in a recent goddess box. This metal hanger that I thought maybe she could alter or leave it as it is. Um, one of my CD mandalas. Lots of CD art. A spring equinox plaque. A one of my celestial globes. Another hanging CD. Um, Boho Gypsy Wind Chime. This is one of my uh, pen and ink drawings in a frame that I made. Let's see. There's this little sage pin. Wish in a bottle. <laughs> An assortment of stickers and like tattoos. Some napkins, things for mixed media art, just random little bits. Some more stencils, some canvases, some deco art glass markers. Um, some of my favorite sprays, deco art media mister and a delusion spray. Some beading twine, some um, gold wire. A tie-dye bandana, some of my boho gypsy bracelets, a scary Halloween choker that I made. Let's see, kind of cool. A crescent moon necklace, a turquoise bracelet. Um. My recent breadmobile sun, one of my boho purses, a couple of wooden boxes. Um, this one I had gotten at the auction and I altered it with the chakras. And these are really nice carved. Try to open it. It's like a jewelry box. And then just a smaller carved box. Plain. And last but not least, a whole box of different birch box samples and things from Goddess Provisions and, you know, little makeup girly kind of shampoo and perfumes and stuff. So I am going to wrap all of this up and thanks for letting me share this with you and thanks for being here and being one of my subscribers and I will be doing more giveaways in the future but this was my first big one and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay guys it's almost one o'clock. It's full on rainbow hour in here as you can see. So we're going to head on out. And I will see you in the car. Look at this one. Oh, yeah. Lots of blessings at the end of that rainbow.
Oh my gosh, you guys, it is seriously hot out here. I had no idea it was this warm out. Indian summer. Um, you could see the driveway next to where I'm in my car, where the leaves are on the black asphalt there. That's a sea of acorns. If anybody needs any acorns, I'm your girl. And the cars that drive in and out just crush them. So it's like acorn flower and acorns. Um, yeah, big oak tree there. Big maple tree too. So, okay, I'm going to open the windows and I'll give you a little scenery shot. And then uh, we're almost at the end of this vlog. So it's not goodbye yet though. See you in a few. Okay guys, we're here. Looks like she's got people mowing her lawn. So I'll either see you inside or back out here later. Okay guys, I have to tell you, here's our board. I just resigned. Sylvia just kicked my fanny, okay? What was that, 347, Sil, to 257? Something. Something like that. Kicked my butt, okay? So we're gonna have a cup of coffee. She's gonna let me try to redeem myself one yes. more time before the day's over. But yeah, look at this, you guys. She's the queen. Okay guys, we're back in the car, obviously. My phone died in there, so I had to come out to where I could charge it up, but um, I was able to redeem myself in the second game, and I won that one. So we're gonna get together next week and have a rematch for a tiebreaker, but I'm so blessed to have uh, Syl and Steve and the whole Schwartz family in my life, so feeling good. Um, this vlog's getting really long, you guys, and I'm getting super hot, so I'm gonna say, peace and love for today love you so much i'm going to go home and upload all these clips string this together so stay tuned and again dyson deal coming out on the first and a mixed media collage yeah i'm feeling it how about you guys have a beautiful blessed week and i'll talk to you guys soon okay ear tugs for the grandkids love you guys bye bye